Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome to the Irony of Gaming. And today we're going to do a, another uh, counterside tutorial video. And I've seen that in the last two videos with the how to succeed in counterside, a lot of you have definitely seen the video and have also let me know in the comment section that it was very helpful to you guys. And for that, I thank you guys for watching the video. It definitely helps out the channel. And I'm glad that these tutorials managed to help you guys out into getting you ahead within counterside and to help you succeed in it. Um, this video today is going to be a bit different where I'm going to start an, a brand new account and I'm going to walk the steps with you guys on what to choose, what units to start out with, just so you can just so you don't have a rocky start and not make certain mistakes that can easily happen. Um so without further ado, we're gonna start this up. So I'm starting literally at the beginning from here and now before I even begin this too, I wanted to let you guys know too that there are many different ways to go about this on counter side and there are so many paths that a player can take to you know get them to a specific level that they want to be at or in a specific part of the story and whatnot so this method that I'm showing is just a method that I personally like to use and um, yeah let's go with it uh, you know I'm not gonna go through through the story and stuff like that I'm not gonna spoil anything I'm just gonna skip right to the just I'm just gonna skip right to the point <laughs> Now, I am using a emulator on this one, so it's gonna, so there may possibly be a crash here or two, but it's only on the emulator, because you guys are gonna basically be on the Steam version or the mobile version, so you guys will definitely have a much, um, a much faster connection than the emulator, so you don't have to worry about, you know, random crashes and all that stuff. Alright, so it's just basically taking me to the tutorial, telling me what to do. Man, I love the combat in this. The combat just looks so cool. Pretty awesome. Alright, so I'm just gonna skip it. Yeah, the tutorial can, can take a while a little bit, but once you get past it, you'll be all set.
the tutorial so they're gonna you know they're gonna navigate us through here now also too guys um I have created a second account before and this one here is just like a third account. This is a third account just to show you guys stuff like, you know, how, where to start and, you know, uh, show some of my methods on uh, what I would do if I was starting out. And plus two, this is this is also a good thing as well. Um, hold on, let's see. And I'll do the CEO name later. I'm not worried about it. So it's telling me all this stuff, blah, blah, blah. Ugh. Okay. So, I think this is where... Right, okay, so... So, there's a little trick here, right? So, I haven't, I haven't started, like, the new version of this in a long time. So, I'm thinking that maybe this could work. So when you get to this type of part, right? When you get to this part right here, where it's like recruit um, 10, 10 times, and you're spending the thousand quarts, right? Now back then there was there was a possibility where you can when you get to this part you can exit out the game. So let's say if you are on a mobile phone, you could just close the app, or if you're on Steam, you could just close the game, or in this case here in Blue Stacks, you can you can um what is it? You can close it and then reopen the game and it would automatically skip this um, this uh... top was it the recruit times ten thing so we're gonna try this out right now okay so we are back on the start screen so i closed the game and then i restarted it back up and look what happens so now what it did is that it automatically skipped the recruit version of it and now it's trying to force me to use the uh let's see the other stuff like missions oh i will explain this later too so let me just get out of let me get past this tutorial stuff okay can they will let me go on my own okay so it is letting me go on my own okay so so it does work so when you exit out the game so when the game tells you to tries to force you to use the thousand chords you don't have to do that you can just immediately skip it And for here, now this is where, when you go here, this is where the game tells you where you can get 30 recruit attempts for free. And then you can roll 30 times. You have you have 30 chances to, to choose um, 
whichever ten uh, ten pole that you like. Wow. Okay. Wow, that's insane. Okay. Okay, Leo Villa. Monet, okay. Now don't click too don't click too uh you know too fast and whatnot. You know, trying to get past the tutorial and all that stuff. You know, just be careful. Because you don't want to confirm yet. But this this is best case scenario. So what I wanted to talk about this is that when Hold on. Just in case. Let me just turn the music down just a little bit. Okay. So, basically, what happens is that when you start out, they're going to give you free, uh, free 30 rolls. And these free 30 rolls will, are going to have at least two um, SSRs. Now, they have made a lot of they have made some changes to this um new thing they made some changes to it by making it to where they're adding more people to it and yang harim is amongst those that you can start out with in the beginning so as we're starting out and oh also one thing too there's a there's an anniversary like at this very second that we are talking at the very second of this video there we have a 1.5 anniversary now it's very important guys to this is like the, the perfect time to start the game and so you know keep signing in because we're giving they're giving us three free awakens one with the code and um one with the sign in and another one with the uh missions that we do um you know be sure to stay on top of those missions and to make sure that you don't fall behind so you did so you can uh get those you know the free selector now starting with this this is like the 30 pulls and they added more you um new units to that uh to that pool so what you want to aim for above all else within these 30 pools is you want to go for yang harem the unit that that i just um pulled first try <laughs> is you want to get yang harim now personally for me i want to also try and get at least either yang and one of the other few units that i'm looking for so you want to make sure you have a yang you want to make sure you have a gay yun or a chifuyu or a sky layfield or a chinatsu getting any one of those units along with yang will can immediately help out your account now let's say you were doing the 30 pulls and you didn't get exactly the units that you wanted right all you got to do is just go into the settings go into manage and then you will go to reset the server and it'll ask you if you want to or not and what you gotta do is just say okay and what will happen is they're gonna give you like a uh, like a special wording code and you'll you have to literally type that in press enter and it'll it'll literally reset your entire account that is signed in on here so be careful you know <laughs> be careful with that option or something like that make sure that you're not in the wrong account and then you you know you accidentally deleted your main account or something <laughs> so all right so let's get back into the recruiting um candidate so what i want is i want to try now there's nothing wrong with any of the ssr units that's here but personally for me, I want to try and get the two that I want. Either I want a, uh, you know, definitely a Yang, but I also want either a Gayun, a Chifuyu, a Sky Layfield, or a Chinatsu. Now, personally for me, I want to try and get a Chinat, um, a Chifuyu along with Yang. So let's try this again. Not bad. Okay. Nice. Veronica is a good one. Though right now, it's not what I need. Okay, let's try it again. 
this guy layfield and casey that's a nice one see another nice one too is like casey benz and alex just because they have a rearm system and you can you can end up using the rearm system with one of those two units and you could get one of the one of the best tanks that you can have in the game but at this time i don't need that unit right now yes a yang harem oh a nadel okay now what i'm looking for see if i get lucky another yang Okay, same as before. <laughs> same thing. Okay. Oh, Elizabeth Pendragon. Okay, another Yang. Ooh. Okay, so there is also one thing that you could do as well. Is you can have the um the Eins, Eins and Zoe, and the, the twins are pretty nice. They, they're pretty good as well. Um, they can tank, they can tank pretty well for you as well. And, hmm, I might, I might just get this unit here and then use the ticket for another one. Maybe a Shifuyu. Hmm. Oh, we got the rifleman as well, and we have uh, um, Eris. Hey guys, let me tell you this: Eris, phenomenal unit. She can heal, and she can give shield, uh, barrier shields. Now Yang, the reason why I'm recommend, I'm highly recommending Yang to you guys that you like. She's kind of like a must. Um, well, if it, if it's any unit that I could say that's like a must roll, I would say to have Yang, to have Yang in your party because you can get it for free. Um, either through the beginner task, the beginner or the expert plan, uh, task missions that they had showed us before previously, and also since this since we have the 1.5 anniversary. It's also giving, you know, we're going to get not only the free random awaken ticket, but also a SSR selector. So there are a lot of there are, right now there, are, you know, there are a few free ways to get the specific units. And this is the best case scenario for Yang because Yang shows up here. And honestly, I might actually keep this one because uh, Eris is here as well. Now, the reason why I'm recommending that you get Yang is because Yang gives you barriers, she heals during her ultimate, and she gives the party skill haste. And skill haste is one of the important factors to have for your units in the game. So we're gonna we're gonna keep this one. I like this. Okay, awesome. So we got these here and it says generates one without fail of the 30 attempts okay so this gives you an awaken okay well not an awaken what am i talking about not an awaken sorry <laughs> i mean this will give you um an ssr generates one ssr without fail in 30 attempts yeah i, I could do it but I'm, I'll just wait. I'll wait for now. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait till I can get this to 3k. And then I'll attempt to get this. Because you could get an either a Chifuyu or a Gayun. The other units, they're pretty good too. However, I would get Chifuyu. I would try to get Chifuyu, Seoyun, and Gayun. The, the Gayun, you know, aside from these other units. You can get this one for like a rearm version, but that could always happen at another time. But I these are the these are like my go-to units that I would try to go for. Gay Yoon, Seo Yoon, and Shifuyu. Shifuyu is really good because of her debuffs. She can debuff the enemy, which helps out a lot during raids. And Seo Yoon is also good within raids and PvE. 
Gayun is also another good one for like the PvE, but also I think mostly PvP. She's a pretty good unit as well. Especially in her rearm phase. Okay, so let's see. Oh, we got another free one right here. Okay. Got a lot of credits. Nice. Okay, we got a fusion core. Now, the fusion cores, those are going to be very important later down the line. And we, we definitely want to save up as much as we can with these. All right, nice. All right, okay, so we also got, like I was saying before, since it's the anniversary, they've given us at least two codes. So immediately, guys, when you see this here, I also have it on my uh, on my channel, on the community page. I've posted the two codes that you guys would want to get so long as the anniversary is out right now. So we're going to copy one of them right now, which is the anniversary. And I think this one is this one gives the tickets or we actually no, this one gives us like this extra skin and stuff like that that we could choose from and here is the second code okay so we'll post that so this is what the code looks like okay awesome look at that so now we got a free ssr and we have a random awaken ticket and these are the um the tier 7 raid gears that we got so guys immediately you know use this now if you see the little clock right here that means that it's time so that means that it's not going to remain forever it's going to tell you how many days that it's going to remain so as soon as you get these um you know just make sure you don't forget and to use these before the time runs out because once it runs out they have said before they are unrecoverable you cannot get these you cannot get these back if it expires so be sure to don't forget and use these so this is cool now I'm now what I normally like to do is that because we have like a random a randomizer I would go for the randomizer first before doing the selector so we'll use this. Okay. So we got to strike our unit. Now, the next unit that I am going to probably go for. Yes, I am enjoying it. Okay, so. Let's go into the recruit section some more. Let's see. Now, each day they will give you a free recruit. So it's always nice to do that because they give you uh, task planet, 10 task planets. That almost became a robot. Okay, and because it's the anniversary, every single awaken that we have so far except for the last one that we had which was um alice bright uh braidwood she's not available because she you know we just had her so but every but everybody below her is available to acquire and the ticket basically has all of these awakens available all the way up until this uh unit right here this unit, she's not in the pool because she's the new unit that we have right now for Global. So we got Shepard here. Okay, so. Let's see what Awaken that we get. Hmm, okay. So we got ourselves a good Ranger so far. Okay, an Awaken Ranger. And for this, this now, this is the selector. This allows us to choose not the ones that are like new right now, but everybody else below those units. I think that there's still a few more that's missing though. Now, when it comes to like the awakens for like, I guess you could say the selector. <laughs> Thank you. 
okay there we go okay so so yeah this is what i mean by you know signing in every day when you sign in every day you end up getting a lot of these a lot of these cool stuff here and then this is 25 days left so there's 25 days left of the anniversary so sign in sign in you know immediately because once you show up for about 15 days you're gonna get another awaken another free one and and this one is also another randomizer see the game is very generous and also this is the company establishment so we're gonna get another free um, SSR ticket and it has the unit that exactly what I want, which is Gayun. And this is about 20 days, so sign in for about 20 days and you'll get the free you'll get that free unit. Now those units, I definitely would want to go for Gayun. And then everybody else can be like, you know, secondary. Um This is another good one here that I would probably go for, but we'll see. We'll we'll we'll, we'll see what happens. And then, as you can see in the no, not this section. When in the mission section, we have the anniversary right here too. That this is what we're gonna finish by the weeks. So you definitely want to finish these up and why because once you finish all of it the week one two and three you will get another awakened ticket but this time you get to pick who you want now i just want to let you guys know about this too right just so you are you are aware when you finish chapter when you finish episode five so i guess like here, let's go into operations real quick. So when you finish episode five, the entire episode, when this is when this one finishes, you will get a free awakened Hilda. And she's a um, she's an awakened tank. So if anything, if you guys are wondering like which units that you want to go for or, you know, whichever your account needs, or let's say you need a very strong tank, well, you don't really have to look any further because you will get a free hill day. And this is what she looks like. This unit right here, you'll get a free one if you beat episode, once you beat episode five. So I just want to, I just wanted to um, have you guys be aware of that. Now, what I normally would say is like all the awakens are good. Some some may need you know a, a, a lot more resources and um, a specific build in order to make them flourish. Like let's say this unit right here, Maestra. Good unit to use in raids for PVE. Um, PVP she can be she can be a strong unit, but based but it's based on the gear and the units that are available. At that time within PvP, you know, because they have like a whole ban list and stuff like that. But we can touch more base on that another time. But what I would say is that is that um, at the end of the day, you just I would say first choose whichever unit that you want. The waifus and husbandos, they always come first before anything. Choose a unit that you like over gameplay. Why? Because, you know, it'll make you enjoy the game. It'll have you enjoy the game more because you're using your favorite unit. So the husbandos and waifus, they always come first. Now, let's say you don't care about any of that. Then um, I would say it's based off of what your account needs. And so if you need a powerful tank, they've got some really good ones. They have, uh, you know, Jake, Nyubin, Ray. And, you know, if you're looking for good strikers, you know, they have... Uh, now, in terms of strikers, there are a lot of good ones. But I would think that 
if you're starting out as a new player, Eve would probably be a really good fit for you guys. She does a lot of damage, she's really good in PvE, and she's good in PvP. And she's pretty good within raids. But anyways, let's um Alright, let's get started. Okay, so we started the game. What do we do? We've got we've got a number of Eternium out here that's maxed out. What do we got in our storage? So I would always check my storage first. Okay, this is this is amazing that they've given us gear like this. So now what you could do is let's start let's start with the operator first like because i want to unlock a little bit more stuff on here so we're going to rush through the story a little bit Yeah, there we go. Because now they're going to tell you how to deploy your units. Because I want to be able to get our first ship. Okay, we're going to skip this. <clears throat> oh, it's a little bit slower. Well, it isn't that good. I think I can make this go faster though. Hold on. Um Yeah, I'll put it at 30 FPS for now. This is this is such a good time to start the game because you're gonna get your free your one free awaken and your awaken unit is pretty much gonna carry you through the whole game. Well, through the majority of the game, especially since you have Yang Harim, you're gonna go you're gonna go pretty far in the episodes and it's gonna be a lot easier to obtain that free Hilda. So it gives you a little bit of XP. Now, back then, this used to be this used to happen a lot, where you could get a lot of XP on your main units, and you could just keep farming the missions here and there. But I think now they made it to where you can only get that at a certain extent. So I'm guessing after you beat episode five, that's when your that's when it begins to stop or maybe only in the story that you're getting like a little bit of exp but it's not as much as what it used to be so okay so we're still pretty much in the tutorial i 
Unfortunately, you probably will have to do this. You, you can uh, skip your way out of this, so you'll end up using, you know, whatever the game is telling you to do. But you don't have to fret about it because the game is so generous in in so in the resources that they give you. And once you're like naturally farming, you're gonna naturally get a whole bunch of these. Like it's like an overflow, so you'll be fine. Is this where they talk about the ships? Guess not. Okay, so we're gonna just progress a little bit further into the story just so we can unlock everything that we need. So this is this is pretty much what you'll do first. Is start the story a bit more. Let's put this down a little bit. Now the graphics, the graphics on here can be can look much better. I, I can make the graphics look a lot better, but because it's on this emulator system, it it gets a little unstable if it goes a little too high. So it'll it could encourage a crash. So that's the only reason why I'm like lowering it down, just just to keep it a little stable. Now again, if you're on the Steam and mobile version, you're not going to get this issue at all. Alright, so let's skip. You know, it's pretty funny because I had a randomizer ticket at one point. So the first time I started uh, Counterside, um, that's when Awaken Yumina was uh, available. And I ended up getting that unit. And that was my very first Awaken unit. So it was funny that when I started a second account, like a year ago or so, I ended up my random ticket in the last anniversary. I ended up getting a Yumina <laughs> as a randomizer ticket, so it was pretty, pretty cool. Something poetic about it. But unfortunately, this time I didn't get that. <laughs> I didn't get Yumina again. Now. I'm, I'm guessing that, you know, what you're probably wondering is that, oh, is the game always manual? Well, no, it's not always manual. You don't have to worry about it. It's just that um, in the tutorial, they want you to get, the game wants you to get a little used to doing things manually before they let you do things auto. But once you unlock the auto, oh, man, that's like a good quality of life. <laughs> Now, also be mindful too that there are some cases where, in some missions, where you have to do things manually. 
but I'm I'm thinking that it is probably possible to just auto everything. Yeah, Maria is crushing it. I'm not sure though if I'm going to keep this account here. I probably, maybe I will, maybe I won't, because I already have like a second account. So I'm probably just gonna progress through it with that account. And if I'm gonna make any future tutorial videos on like more beginning uh, beginner guides and stuff like that, it's probably gonna be with just that account. But we'll see. Oh, there we go. So now they're starting to free up some of the options. This is going to go a lot faster now. And this right here just gives you the auto ultimate. So now I don't have to click on those anymore. See, so as you continue more in the episodes, the game will then start to unlock a lot of things for you. Let me see if this is, if we got more, okay. Okay, so we didn't unlock all of them yet. Okay, no problem. So we're just, we're just gonna keep progressing until we unlock more stuff. Oh, okay, now they want us to do the simulations, okay. I will talk about this. I definitely in this video I will talk more about this but we're just going to wait for a bit until all of the tutorial stuff is done so this is how I would go about things when starting a new account I'll just let the game talk what it needs to talk and then I'll just progress through the story because we have an awaken and we don't really need to do much right now However, what, what I should say too, is that when you start out with your accounts, whichever SSRs that you got right now, even if it wasn't the one that you wanted, it's nice to put them in the party when doing the story because they do level up without you having to use those negotiation stuff. So just keep that in mind. Actually, I want to see if I can replace her with... Okay, yeah, that's... Oh, you know what? I'm gonna replace Hilda with this. Definitely going to do that. She has a she has a rearm version as a sniper and she's pretty cool. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah. 
Okay, as you can see, it's like they're just shredding them. Okay. I think we I think we have two more codes too today, I think. I'm gonna I'm gonna find out. Nice. Okay, so we got the company level. So our company level is what also um, gives us, which also increases our limit of how much Eternium that we can have. So as more as you, so as you keep progressing the story, guess what? The uh, the course that you just saved before when you exit out the game now you're close to 3000 so this is a really good method to get that other free SSR that the game was offering you and see the game when you beat certain missions and you complete certain things the game will then start to reward you with just more things So now we're going to end up using this. We're going to start spending that down <coughs> very soon. But we got to progress a little bit further into the game just so that it starts to unlock everything. I got to use those. Uh, there's two more codes that I have to use. So now she just gives the barriers and then she increases the skill haste to go faster. Now, mind you, I don't, I don't have any gear on these units either. I don't think, I don't think I put anything on them. And they're doing this much damage. Nice. Okay, we leveled up some more. So again, we're just going step. I'm gonna go step by step with you guys. Okay. 
Yeah, it's always good to have um, some supports, some support units. You're definitely gonna need them. Oh, nice. Oh, you know what? Before I do that, let me put in the codes. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. This is such such best case scenario right here. This is just amazing. I think I did this one already. I think I did this one. Oh no, I haven't. Okay. All right, so we got some more free stuff. Nice, more tickets, more money. This is very, you wanna make sure you keep an eye on this too. This is very important. Okay, so we got 20,000 this time here with 500 more cords, look at that. Now, I know I like what I'm doing is that I'm building this up, but only to, I'm doing this for a reason though. Cause normally you never wanna, you never wanna let your, etern um, your Eternium rot. What do I mean by rot? Meaning that if it reaches its once it reaches its um, its cap limit, you can't get any more Eternium. So you definitely want to be able to spend that down because every min every four minutes and thirty seconds that you that you wait while the Eternium is full, you're losing that potential um, Eternium that you could be getting. You know, if the meter wasn't full. So I'm just going to progress through this real quick. Now, when in terms of when it like in terms of like trying to unlock everything, the game can get just a little slow in terms of that, but once you beat it, once you beat everything, you're just you're all set. <laughs> then the game will let you, you know, will leave you to your devices. Nope, we ain't getting close to this shit. I think at this point, it might be best that I start putting gear on my characters now. Alright. 
Whew. There we go. Again, without those supports, they would have definitely got wiped out. <laughs> or I would have had a much harder time to getting by this. Okay, so we got this. There we go. We got the hangar now. It's about time. So basically, this is basically uh, they're 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 pretty much talking about giving us a new ship. Uh, I personally don't want to upgrade this one but do I have to do that yeah I have to okay Whew. Yeah, so it's it's important to get the ship to um, upgrade it because every upgrade increases your deployment um, your deployment cost resources. And basically, what is that? Well, every time when you start a battle, you'll come across units that have a little number right here on the bottom left. This determines your deployment cost. So if you have three or or above deployment cost that you have in on the while in the field, that means that you can spend three points to deploy Yang. And those three points will be deducted from the from the point system that you have. The re, the, the deployment resource center. So I'll show you. Let's check this. Yeah, so what you want to do is when you're starting out, do these um, task force plans. This will this will help you out tremendously, especially since you're a new player, because they give you a lot of free stuff, a lot of free rewards that you can take advantage of. And this is all on the beginners. This is all for like a beginner. So they're giving you a bunch of free selector tickets a lot of units that you can get and I think one operator is probably in this one but see you can get a but see by doing the the beginner one if you finish all the missions you'll get a free SSR coupon ticket that you can select and this is where I'm gonna get the units that I usually would rec that I recommend to get which was, you know, um, Gayun, Chifuyu, Sky Layfield, and Shinatsu. Getting those units is what's going to help establish my account and what I need, and it'll help me progress further into the episodes. So we still haven't unlocked everything yet. Not yet. We gotta lock the labs, the dorm, and the workshop. So let's progress the story more. Though the game is getting a, starting to get a little challenging now, because uh, Spira was like the first. I guess you could say it's like the first boss, maybe. I, I think, but. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the storage and we are going to activate the gear that the devs so nicely gave us. 
Oh, this is nice. We could choose the latent abilities. Oh, okay, so this is good. Hmm. Okay, so see for me, I it's because of what I what I know in the specific unit that I want to get that can take advantage of this. So personally, for me, when it comes to this particular gear, I would either go with the crit damage for units that do a lot of crit damage and all that stuff, or the skill haste. Melee damage is also a good one as well. But I think for this account, I'm I'm gonna go with crit damage. But then again, I could go with the skill haze, and then I can I can just give that to to Yang, but. I could just I could just do something different with this. So I would probably hmm. Yeah, I'll just I'll just go with crit damage with this one. Let's see this one right here. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with the armor. Now you can now when you get these you can choose like which ones that you guys want. They have one for the soldier. So if you want to make soldier builds, you can do you can make soldier teams. Um, I mean we have enough we got a we got a decent number of soldiers in the game right now, so you can make some pretty interesting soldier builds. Um, you can do the same thing with mechs as well, though I think personally for I think well in my opinion. I think that the mechs are a little bit difficult because there are specific ones that you would need to get or the specific ones that you would want to get because it'll make the game a lot easier for you. But for me, I just, I choose counters. It's just a lot easier. <clears throat> and I think you'll get, you get a little bit more bang out of your buck for it so bang for your buck um yeah i'm gonna get the counter one now the counter one see the inhibitor one is usually it's more on a defense side so what i would do is Again, this this also varies depending on what type of strategy that you're trying to go for, what type of build that you want to make for your units. I would say that the HP percentage is a good one. The crit damage resistance is a good one. To a certain extent for, you know, for the defense wise, skill haste is definitely a good one. I I would think. And melee damage resistance and range damage resistance. So HP, crit damage resistance, skill haste, melee damage resistance, range damage resistance. Hmm. You know what? I I'm I know what I'm gonna do because just for a future build unit that I want, and I want them built on the skill haste. So that's what I'm gonna select. I'm gonna select skill haste. Oh, nice. It's an attack speed one, too. Okay, so we got more Eternium. So, what I probably should have done, too, 
is i mean it's it's not really a big deal because i mean you you progress it as you progress into the story your unit's gonna just level up but as soon as you get three thousand i would just probably roll here just to get that free ssr unit so you could just immediately put them in that starter in that starter team and then they could just level up and then you know they're, they're pretty much leveling up for free without you having to spend resources right now to level them so i'm gonna go for this Let's see what I get. Oh, nice. Claudia. That's a, that's a really good healer. One of the good healers in the game. Let's try again. Okay. And we'll try one more. See what I get. Official support is confirmed. Jojin, I'm sorry. Morgan, see. Hello, Zeus. Official support is confirmed. Sure, man. Yo, time to blow. Hello, Zeus. Claudia Nelson. Ooh, okay. I was hoping to get this unit. That was one of the ones I was hoping for. Nice. I have a sale unit. So what she does is once she gets, as soon as she's deployed on the battlefield, she increases the uh, attack power of um, basically all her allies on the field. Now, since that this is like 3,000, you don't necessarily have to do this, what I did. But what you could do too, though it's a little bit on the risky side, is that if you have 3,000 of those quartz, you can just go into the Awaken area and, well actually, I don't think they actually, you can do that actually. No, you can't. But what you could do is you can just use this to get the 200, uh, 2750 quartz, and you can get at least like what 200, and 200 of these black tickets will cost as a um, ten pull. Or what you could do is you could spend that three thousand in replacement as these um, blue tickets. Now this unit right here, she's not she's not a must-have, but she I think that she is I think that she can be a really decent unit. And right after when right when this banner ends, she's gonna be put into the character pool. So if you do manage to get, you know, somewhere down the line, they you know they manage to give us an SSR ticket coupon. This could this could be a, a pretty good choice, and why is that? Because this unit can actually do about 10% damage to the boss, so she's she has anti-boss damage plus 10%. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> That's pretty crazy, and especially since they're going to give us about you know the 170 and 190 level raids. Yeah, she can she can be pretty good. I, I kind of wish I had enough to actually try and attempt it, but it is what it is. Ooh, SR, what'd I get? Okay, Benedict. Okay, let me see, did I? No, I didn't. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to beat this episode one. I think beating the episode one unlocks everything. So let's see. All right, let's take her out. Put in Seo Yoon.
Right, the origins. See, increases the attack 20%. It's only for 10 seconds, though, when she's deployed. But she also decreases the uh, ASPD, but she also decreases the enemy's defense by 20% for 10 seconds as well when you get this up to level 5. So it's pretty good. So she's a, she's a really good unit to have. Okay, so we don't really have a lot of gear on us. So whatever gear that we do have, I would give it to the Awaken. Alright, so we only got that. So now you get let's say you got the units, right? So you're like, okay, irony, I got the units. Which ones do I level up first? What I would say is I would level up your support Yang first and also the Awaken. So how would we go about doing that? Well, since we're you know we're doing the story, right? We pretty much do the story like pretty much do the episode missions until you pretty much can't do them anymore. And and by the time you're like doing going through these missions, you guys are get like your guys' units are getting like a free level up. So yeah, I would level up Yang first, and then I would go for the Awaken. But if possible, I would divvy I would divvy it up. So there's a lot of units in the game, and as you play more, you're just gonna keep acquiring newer ones. So what I would do is I would choose your first eight, your first eight units that's on your team. And then from there, I would get them, I would try to slowly level each of them up. So what I would do is that I would probably aim for like maybe level 30 or level 40 on the one unit and then have them follow after that. So Yang level 40, Maria level 40, um, Ainz level 40 and then so on just so just so that you can slowly start progressing in the game because what, what you guys need to understand is that you should definitely take your time take your time when playing this game it's um you know it's the, it's not a it's not a speed run but a marathon but yeah so long as you you know because the, the game can be a little bit confusing at times and it, it just throws a whole bunch of stuff at you but it's nothing to worry about you'll definitely get used to it you just gotta take your time enjoy the game and just don't rush and you'll be set okay so we got her the gear right let me put let me put some gear on yang oh one thing too what i want to say too um when you get like tier five gear like this, there's no need to level it up. You don't need to level it up at all. Because as you get better into the game, as you get better in the game, um, well, as you get stronger and progress further, you're gonna end up getting a whole bunch of like tier seven gear and stuff like that from raids and all of that. And also too, you'll be able to buy specific gear from the shop with um with the points that you accumulate by playing the game so <coughs> <coughs> such as gauntlet mode and um you know uh danger close mode and stuff like that how i see it if it's not gold there's really no need to start upgrading it Now there are a few exceptions, like uh, tier five gold, which is like antagonist gear, or the devil gear. I would think that I would personally think that I like those are probably the only tier fives that could be worth leveling. But then again, you don't necessarily have to level it either, because I, 
I haven't really leveled up my tier fives, which is the antagonist and the devil ones, and they still work pretty well. Okay, so this is it right here. I don't think I had anything else here, right? Yeah, I did. So let me put this on here just to give her a little bit more HP. We're just sailing through. Yeah, technically this is still the tutorial still. <laughs> the tutorial is pretty long in this game. Oh, yeah, they're getting serious. But see, this is why I said this is why you need supports, really good ones, because they can easily overwhelm the early bosses. Oh, there we go. Okay, so this is pretty much the lab where you can go to your units, you can level them up. <clears throat> so 
where you get the training from. I think they force you to do this, yeah. Which there's really nothing to worry about because they they give you so much of these that it's just it's not a big deal. So to Act Five. Hmm. Okay. So it's Episode Two. What what, what I'm gonna do is because I, I want to be able to thoroughly explain this. So we're going to progress further. Just a little further. Because there's a there's an interesting feature about the the dorm system, and I want to be able to unlock it to talk about it. See, since I got awakened, as you can see, Yang, the awaken unit that I have, and even Arius, they're just annihilating the the forces of this game. And then Ainz having her there will just ends up um, making this a lot easier. <laughs> I definitely want to finish this too so I can unlock the auto function. Alright, level 6. Alright, so we got this here. Yeah, once I unlock the auto feature, it'll be so much easier to to be able to effectively farm in this game. Alright. Man, I've forgotten how long this uh, tutorial for the episode was. 
Okay, there we go. We've unlocked a number of things now. Okay, so the gauntlet system, what was this? Oh, Act 4, okay. I want to at least unlock the um, the auto. Yeah, so it, it, like pretty much as you progress through this to the uh, through the episodes, you begin to unlock a lot more stuff, a lot more options, and I think that finishing. Did they just say like Act Three or something like that? Yeah, it is. Okay, I think this is what this is when we get to unlock the auto. Because this will make because this late mid this makes this so much better. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we did. Okay, so we unlocked it. Oh, amazing. Okay. This is better. You see, so now you don't really have to do anything anymore. Now they'll just they'll fight for you. Yep. Easy. All right, so we're at like level seven. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Um, I pretty much unlocked the majority of this. The dorm system. Oh, what was this? Oh, company level level 15. Okay, no problem. Okay, so we finished. Uh, we went through a great deal of the. Uh, well, we went through the first part of the story, which allowed us to unlock pretty much almost everything that we need. We have to reach 2.3 on this one, which is not a problem, but. do a little bit more of those but okay so we've already unlocked the majority of things right okay so let's say we sign in now we can start getting things done that we need to so the growth what's this one this one episode five okay that's great okay so when you're starting starting into the game one of the first things that you want to do like immediately every day do your simulations these are free these replenish every single day up to two unfortunately they do not stack they will always remain at two so if you have so if you have this filled up already you don't want you don't want that to rot so what you'll do is that you know you'll you'll do these and what your goal because in this game you definitely want to set goals for yourself because there's a lot to do in the game and if you don't set goals for yourself you can quickly you can quickly get bored of the game which are then you know you'll just probably play something else or something like that but it's very important to because like the game has a lot of stuff 
and it'll definitely keep you occupied but it's also just really good to take as a precaution to you know set personal goals for yourself because it'll let because you'll enjoy the game more and you'll you'll play it for a lot longer so uh oh okay look at this, look at this. so we got this is from the task um plan mission that we got so what you want to do is that when you go into the simulations you definitely want to start playing all of these and try to max these out what i mean by this by beating it before a certain timer because when you beat it the faster you beat this uh the levels you can then easily skip it so you could do more farms with it so for instance let's see let's try it with this so each day they're going to give you two and each one that you beat will unlock the next one for you うう。うわ、あっちだ。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って
있습니다. 드라이. 퇴자들 퇴자. 훌륭한 판단이세요. 자들이 두려워해야 할 건. 고작 카운터하는였다. Alright, we're doing pretty good. 퇴자들 퇴자. 어. 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 